Explicit. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah, this it's your boy. boy. Oh, damn. this your boy here, man. This talk is talk podcast. You see what I'm saying? You already got us thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's your boy C, man. Hey, we all just looked at, looked at each other just now. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, it's your boy Nord. I'm from the brick, so I'm cool with whatever I get. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, y'all already know what I'm telling you every week. Subscribe to their YouTube, Talkers Talk Podcast 864. And anywhere you listen to audio podcast, we there. Let's get it. We got a guest today. Tell, tell them who you are. Yes, I'm your featured guest, Italia Monet, a.k.a. the NY Chica. Yes. Born and raised in New York. And make sure y'all ring that notification bell on Facebook as, I mean, my bad, YouTube. That's how you know we don't have scripts. Talk is Talk Podcast 864. And That's make sure y'all follow us on IG, too. Talk is Talk Podcast 864. <laughs> and Italia, I-T-A-L-I-A dot Monet, M-O-N-A-Y. That's I right. do like how you take the ownership type role. Like, I do... I do appreciate you a little. I mean, you might can be a little old baron, but you know we'll take it. Mm-hmm. Hey, and on we'll IG, the eight six four ain't on it. Yeah, it's just talk, talk, just talk, just talk. Yeah, That's right. We got there early. Yeah. Like I say, uh, we back with a viral sensation. Uh, you went viral in in, in talk and talk terms. The uh, as a surprise Monet. guest, right? On the our one, last show together, right? The one who got smacked with the strap. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you know, hey, wow. You know we hey. At just, because, yo, hey, yo. now we back to get some understanding. You know what I'm 4-0 was her nickname. <laughs> 4-0 was her nickname? Yeah, we had we had code names. So I had an African friend from Africa. She knows who she is. She was my best friend in high school, and she was a virgin. But she was very educated, very knowledgeable in sexuality and sexual education. But she was straight. However, she was very fluid and, and curious about different escapades and different sexual encounters so she used to always want to know about my experiences i used to always want me to report you know different things that might have transpired with me and the females i was dealing with back then so we had a code name for her because she was 40 so her code name was 40 we didn't ever want to call her by name because you know people already in the comments talking about motherfuckers going to jail so you know we ain't never speak on her actual name around nobody. We just had code names and 40 was hers. But I know oh. everybody had their little oh, they little uh. comments. So <laughs> you try to respond to the comments. You try to fight them. We got to uh, go spot them. Got to fight them. It was going. It was too much. It was too much going on. Yeah. But so yeah. Uh, I mean, I I wasn't trying to respond. I did respond properly. But I also let everybody know that if they wanted to know more or get feedback on what they had to say, that they would have to, you know. Get you back on Talk with Talk. Well, well, we got you back on here. But, hey, how we start things off around here, we get into a little current events. And, man, um, mm-hmm. and we're we going <laughs> to jump into that. Yes, the hot topic the of the hot day. We're going to hold them. Are y'all ready we gonna for We're going to hold this? y'all. You know how they say? We ain't gonna hold you. We gonna hold you. We gonna hold you this. We gonna hold you this time. Yeah, I'm gonna hold you. I'm gonna hold you. <laughs> we gonna hold you. But uh, when a nigga say that to me, but I ain't even gonna hold. But I ain't even gonna hold. Hey, look, I, I always respect it. Like, oh, okay, he he telling me 
this what it is. You know right. I ain't gonna hold you. But but this time we gonna hold you. Yeah, we're gonna hold you. Mm, uh, mm, we got mm. uh, uh, some little current events. Like I said, we've been we missed a week. We had you know what I'm saying very entertaining guests. We done missed. GPS we got some backlogs going on. You sitting at your location? Uh, no, but, actually, but we even though, though we I just came back to Greenville, I am still having your GPS to get around. And some told me that it was going to do that because it had not arrived to my location yet. So I'm turning off the location and the GPS just in case I do got some right. stalkers out there tracking me. Because hey, uh, hey, in real life, that has happened. So we, we, hey, everybody ain't all the way legal over here. Trying now, to we. get behind that ass. I don't yeah. even know why he thought that was so serious. <laughs> what you mean by that? I, 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 that was from a movie. Uh, my bad. Come uh, back there, see? Yeah, oh, yeah, man. Um, current event with all this going on, man. Stuff going on in Atlanta. But hey, we got so much mess going on right here in South Carolina. But hey, what the song say? Look no further. Right. Look but it's here. It's here. Did y'all see? Well, y'all remember the uh, the people from South Carolina that went down to Mexico got kidnapped. Mm-hmm. Two of them got killed mm-hmm. and uh, stuff like that. So you know, one of the girls, well, what number one girl? She was from Myrtle Beach. You know what I'm saying? She got arrested the other week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because of of. Uh, her child had got to fighting, you know what I'm saying. So they arrested her because she went back down there with her child. You know what I'm saying. You know she carried her, she carried her child back down there to uh you know. Did she fight? The mama fought. Had, had a pistol. Mm. Yeah, had a pistol. To, uh, down, see, they down there from Myrtle Beach. Like I said, this is via Conway down there. Yeah, where? they down there. All that Florence Conway PD, the PD. Yeah, all that shit. They Look. drove down there. Draw down well. No, that's where they from. Listen, keep up, baby. Oh, you ain't, you ain't heard no, about I'm the talking about that? Mexico. They you ain't heard, heard about that? No. You ain't heard about the so, little- th- so, hey, for those watching that also have not heard about this current event story, please enlighten this me was and major. them. major. So, you yeah, probably ain't You didn't see about the people that went I to- I be at work 50 hours a day. I mean, know. a week, so. Couldn't miss it. You couldn't miss this one. But, but- to she ones, probably know from South Carolina, though. But to the ones that didn't know, though, uh, it was a girl and three of her uh, friend guys, or uh, uh, cousins, brother, whatever. She was going to Mexico to get her body done. So that's what she said. You know what I'm saying? Well, I ain't going to say that what she said. That's that what she said, so that's what she was going to do. She was going to get her body done. <laughs> so they got down there across the border, and they got kidnapped for about like three or four days. Two niggas got killed. You know what I'm saying, and it was to the point where um, the two survivors, the uh, the Mexicans, you know, they was trying to make them make the girl and the dude fuck each other. You know what I'm saying? She was like, "No, I can't fuck him. I'm pregnant." You know what I'm saying? That's my oh my brother. goodness! You know what I'm saying? Damn, I ain't even know that. Ain't part. Know that part. See, look, yeah. we yeah. all yeah. being enlightened. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't see an interview they had that one. They was on like uh, ABC in the morning when talking about that shit. Okay. Y'all ain't see that? No, I missed that. Yeah, they they taught they well they ain't torch them like that. Well, like the first two dudes, you know, they shot them because they, cause they tried to run. But one dude, you know, he was still like alive, you know what I'm saying? So the girl was like, you know, he just pretty much bled out. But, you know, for their entertainment, they was trying to make the uh, two survivors fuck each other. You know what Mm-mm. I'm saying? I need a drink for so that. So they, they held them captive, what, three, four days? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so they uh, end up, you know, letting them go in the cartel. Turned the people over who did it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They, Moral of the story: Those of us who ain't from there don't belong there. Clearly, right. And, and another moral <laughs> story is: uh, But I'll be trying to do what goddamn Meech did. <laughs> yeah, that shit on that shit say cut. But uh, <laughs> they uh, they went. <laughs> but anyway, you know they they let them go, and the cartel turned the people over who did it. You know what I'm saying? Some of note with like, hey, but. They, cause they, they know how America coming, mm. but I don't know they coming for some black people. Like yeah, I'm just saying, but, I, but you know, this <laughs> no, they don't know. But yeah, 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 but they just shit. rather America turn the people over who are responsible to too. have America mm-hmm. tracking them down or stopping their operation. Right, right. Yeah, right. we don't need no hiccup in the operation. Mm-hmm. To hide no niggas over here. Exactly. Right. We gonna give you these five motherfuckers. So uh, anyway, they let they let them come back to America. You know, see America got got the people. You know, they drove from what South Carolina all the way to Mexico. 
Well, that was my first question. Yeah, that's I what said, it did. Did they yeah, drive to was, Mexico? But it was shocking to me that you ain't heard nothing about it, though. So I couldn't get an answer till the end of the story. But this is the story. <laughs> but anyway. No, but see, well, the reason why I asked you that was because you said they had a pistol. And I'm like, well, only way they would have got a pistol across country uh, country, country lines ain't was. ain't no pistol. These people got hijacked. Two people got killed straight off top. He told me they had a pistol for the new. For, yeah, for the new store. This yeah. girl done got into some yeah, more if you, trouble. Hey, uh, hold your line next time. Hold your line. Yeah, hold your line. Just listen. Hold your line next time. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, these people died in Myrtle Beach. You know what I'm saying? The, the uh, girl, she faced the charges to uh, contributing to uh, delinquent civil minor. You know what I'm saying? And uh, accused of waving a gun and uh, and stuff like that. Because, like I said, what it was is her daughters got to fighting. They went to an apartment complex. So they end up, you know, fighting. So the girls went back home. Which it was her daughter, the one who just fresh off of being kidnapped two, three days. The mama went back down there. You know what I'm saying? The woman who got kidnapped, yeah. she went back down there waving a the pistol and shit. You know what I'm saying? So they the mama up. ain't for games, is she? She ain't for, she ain't for games, Don't bro. Don't fuck with she me, for the streets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, she went back down there. They arrested her, but like, how do how in the world, how, how do you go through something some, so traumatic? But see, and you come back home, and that, you got them out of here just like, like, just like goddamn, just Rambo like, on some, yeah, on you some out here on some wild west shit. Mm. Yeah, mm. but see, this Charles what I'm thinking. Bronson, you know, pe- pe- most people don't know about him. These young people out here, like, who that? Death Wish. Yeah, it's Death Wish. But you know, to go, you know, you know, to go, with what you saying? See, only way you really gonna get out, she's gonna get out that shit. She gonna say she mentally is. She was crazy. Well, yeah, Temporary yeah, insanity. Which, which she probably well, look, is look. a little bit. Yeah, she's been traumatized. traumatized. Yeah, she right. definitely mm-hmm. traumatized. Mm-hmm. But how you even just like hey? And then uh, the girl, whoever you is, hey, pull up. You know we always offer. We got an open door up here and talk. Talk, man. Pull up, man. Hey, yeah. But so I ain't we ain't got to right. guess. We ain't got to guess what it is. Come tell us. Yeah, what come it tell. Is. We but always. You don't, see, you don't see the nigga fighting. You know what I'm saying? He got there swaying out and homeboy come try to bring it up. Next day, you know him the homeboy. Like, yeah. Motherfucker, what you gave me for? See, yeah. See, see, she's still on that shit. She's still on that shit. She's still swinging out there. Yeah, yeah. She, hey, but like I said, though, man, hey, come up here, tell your story, though. But it, it, it just blew my mind. It's to the point where it made me say this. And I'm, boy, I hate to say this. Boy, I hate to say it. Like I said, she was going down to get her body done. Boy, all that shit they were saying in the comments, boy, I think they were right. But they were going out on, on a different type of time. Might have been. About the body? Like, why about? She was going to get a body done, but I think they were going out, going out there trying to get, meet the plug. Connect. Yeah, yeah, meet the connect. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Man, like, I, the, the getting the body done might have been the cover. Shit, I, hate, I, hate, I hate to put our people out there, like, out there like that. Shit, people trying to get some money. Yeah, they trying to get some money. What's well, bad out here, boy? Mm, the well, struggle is real. It's bad out here, boy. Niggas taking real penitentiary chances. Shit, don't mm-hmm. risk no reward. That's what they say. Yeah, but shit. They taking real, pen- real life altering chances with getting their body done, too. You nah. know, like, nah. yeah, that's real too. Yeah. Now. It's, 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 it's gotten crazy out here, you know, and that's, that's, t- that ultimately be for chasing the bag. So let's keep it a hundred. So yeah. What people year did taking you get the- yours done? Ah. What? Oh, what? that's it. Never weary. That's natural. Thank you very oh much. God, I told God, y'all last time you. that it was you God's plan. So you keep trying to ask really me like, I'm going to give you a different answer. No. This is all me, baby. And actually, I'm on a fitness journey. So I'm, I'm down 50 pounds from where I was at last year. For those of you who know me and who have seen me and, you know, That's notice the transition well, or pounds, change. Boy, you big girl, no boy. surgery. No surgery. Yeah, actually, I was certified 60 inches effective year 2020 and year 2021. And effective year 2022, it got to 62 inches. So... Mm. But no matter no matter how much weight I gain, my proportions always stay the same. I just got I became a bigger version of myself, but I always still have that same shape. Yeah. What well, was that's you a big the, eater, or is just genetics? As far as what the ass go, yeah, just the weight gain. Well, the weight gain was from trauma, okay, which is for another episode. <laughs> but the weight gain yeah. was from suffering injuries <laughs> and trauma 
that I had to recover from. So that caused me to be inactive, immobile, not able to walk without crutches or walk with a limp or um, drive or anything. <clears throat> right. So Don't in any shame. event. Don't be shame. Yeah, in any event. No, I'm just, I am. Hey, you BBW. No, but he just asked me what got me to that, to that, to that, you know, the biggest right. weight. And I was just speaking on it. I was just speak. I told y'all on the last episode, for those of y'all who watched, because clearly they weren't listening. They were too busy paying attention to the ass. You got to let them see the ad before we leave. I, I told y'all up. the last time see I was leave. five years old, rocking on carousels with a dunk. And I wouldn't have even known if I didn't see the pictures for myself. I had ass before. And it was called a badunkin dunk when I was growing up because they had a song called badunkin dunk. What was, God, at what that was time. God thinking when he made you so damn thick? I'm so telling you. Huh? I'm telling you, like, he took his time when he made me. That's what I tell everybody. And Lord, forgive me. If you were sexually active, you had just busted a nut right before you conceived me because you really... You really blessed me. And at the time, you know, growing up in New York, it wasn't appreciated, valued, praised, you know, acknowledged. I was bullied. I was picked on for being, you know, a plus size girl. But I never, like, like I said, I had a dunk before I even had when developed did, breasts. So this. I was always that way. Let nope. me ask you something right quick. Let me interrupt. You might right know now. When, did, when did niggas start liking it? Like, when you stopped getting picked at? It, it was a transition. The transition was me moving from New York down to GA. Okay. I had to when literally did you come move to the down South. Here, well, it was between age 17 and 18. So you mean, GA. you mean uh, it, it wasn't no 10th graders that was looking at that ass in New York? So for those that were in New York that might have liked it or attracted to it or thought I looked good, let me tell y'all, they did it secretively. Because in New York, and everybody I grew up with can acknowledge this, it's very superficial. Like at the time that I was growing up, you know, you had a lot of a lot of petite sized chicks that were out, you know, on the on the scene or on TV. You know, like Cassie, Sierra. You had a lot of Yo. a lot of slim chicks, and that's the look that everybody was going for, what everybody was was um, striving to be or whatever. So in New York, it's like they looked at anything that was plus size as fat, and I'm talking about. I didn't even have any type of pudge in the stomach until I came to the South. So it was always anything flat. Anything on 14 is fat. I was always, huh? Anything on 14 is, well, it's size 14. Anything on four, over 14 is like BBW, right? Well, technically anything over 12, size 12 is plus size. Because plus yeah, we, size yeah. at a lot of stores like Cato, Lane Bryant, Ashley Store mm. is 14 mm. and, and bigger. But, yeah, I mean, I was always a plus size girl. And uh, but I always carried it very well. Lane Bryant. No, that wasn't at that age. Not okay. that young. What size you were now? Oh my God! Oh, it's my not, no, no, unless y'all gonna ain't. go to the store and buy me some new bra, some new underwear, well, or some new I outfits, mean, I see, I it don't even real, matter. I, I see you getting real uneasy. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you this right here. Like, what the other day, I was uh, sitting watching a uh, Drake spin about you video. You see, and y'all see spin about you? Anybody mm-hmm. seen spin about you video? You seen? seen you ain't seen. You say no that camera light? You say spin back. Man, I was sitting there, boy. And you already know Drake got a thing for BBWs. If you listen to the music, you hmm. know he, Drake loves. It's in the lyrics, but they have him putting a different type of female in the videos. Right, 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 right. So, but, but, like I say, holy line. Uh, Drake, in the spin back, in the spin back your video, but his leading lady is a BBW. And boy, that bitch. She mm. bad. Yes, she bad. Her name is Precious Lee. Precious Lee. Look up. But look up, y'all. She's from Atlanta, Georgia. She went to Clark. Oh, she went to Clark or somewhere. She went to one HBCU down in Atlanta. I can't say Clark or whatever, but uh, she is bad. Did Drake boy. fuck? Gun, gun to your head. Did Drake oh, my fuck? goodness. Drake. Drake. You've got a gun to my head, and I'm out of options. Uh, Drake most definitely fuck. Because <laughs> she is... uh. A beep, boy, that girl is sexy, but she is the leading lady. She's like caught off in the water. You know what I'm saying? They, it's, it's like 21 Savage. Well, the song Spin About You, it's on uh, Her Loss. Classic album, if y'all ain't listened to it. But I, I listen to it every day. But anyway, Drake and 21 Savage is on a, um, 
on a yacht. You know what I'm saying? It's a woman tra- it's a woman, you know, a dance on the stretch in the water. You know what I'm saying? So they go save us. They pull up on the boat. You know what I'm saying? Sexy big girl, y'all. Sexy precious Lee. BBW. Sexy BBW. Oh, they like it, yeah, well, I'm trying to tell you. Well, we just now. now started being appreciated and acknowledged. So, but well, hey, let me finish. Though. She they pull up on the boat, and then you know they end up. She got a crew. Her crew comes up. Crew of girls come up. Skinny girls. You know what I'm saying? Nice body, toned up body. But she the ring leader. She the head of it. They end up robbing the boat. You know what I'm saying? Jerry, they kill Drake. Yeah. Kill goddamn. <laughs> they turned it into a drama. But anyway, like I said, BBW is a thing. But hey, I like BBW women. You know what I'm saying? It's I like the like real man to admit that. No, it don't. No, it, it don't. don't. It no, don't. it don't. It but really it's do. It's more niggas that it's love BBW women. But Trump not everybody's admitting it. So to answer your question earlier, you said, was it, actually, you asked this. So I'm taking it back to you first. You said in 10th grade, wasn't anybody admiring it or liking it or whatever? No okay, apologies. Y'all both wanted to know. So what I was I saying know. was nice. back then everything was so superficial that I feel like even those who may have low key been crushing on me or infatuated with me, they wouldn't say shit. Why it took five, ten years to go by for these people I went to school with in high school and y'all know who y'all are to hit me up in my DMs. Now watch I have a bunch of unsent messages after this. But y'all know who y'all are if y'all ever if y'all ever watch this. Y'all just all of a sudden in the past few years decided that you want to speak on how you really felt back in high school or how you really felt when I lived in New York. You grown now. You might have the courage. <laughs> but why not then? Why was it something to be to keep to their self then? Yeah, they okay, So that takes it back it, to what it, I just said about being a grow. real man to be able to, to, to embrace what you love or what yeah, your school, preferences are. Yeah, high school, I was a real man in high school. He was a child, yeah. was a child man. But you, but they was chasing after everybody else. Yeah, well, yeah. Or putting on this front that they like something different. See, there we go again with the numbers. Why is it? <laughs> God, you you younger than us? You That's true. That's out? true. Like so, age oh my goodness! I'm just saying, he asked what age are you? We, we, we we try, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to see what era you was in school. And I told you, I you said back the, then, I said the people that was the Sierra people that was and, uh, Cassie. Cassie, right? That oh, was I the type of females. That was the type of females that people was looking at or want to be like. But with that said, oh. when you grow up in an environment where you got people, you know, looking at this certain image and feeling like that's ideal or that's what a person's supposed to be, even if they body can't physically ever get to that size or ain't made that way. When you grow up having people make you feel that way or you grow up now, all of a sudden, what a, how I look and what I got everybody want and it's like why well, i had to go through so much trauma and so many bad memories and such a rough childhood for being different literally being picked on for having this big butt and a nothing but ass made me considered fat in new york but you know now all of a sudden this is what everybody want or they hating on it because they don't have it and now that takes us back to what we were saying Times I got so hard, people risking penitentiary charges, but people in fed time to get money. But now girls is risking their lives with their bodies. And some people have lost their lives getting botched jobs, have lost their lives going through people that didn't get clearance on their like medical stats or blood work done to make sure they were healthy enough to handle the surgery. But these girls are taking it to the extreme. I done seen some real ridiculous videos on social media where women have these skinny legs and these skinny bodies and they just trying to have all this ass. Like you can't, I'm letting y'all know it is not healthy and it's life threatening for you to be trying to get an ass like mine and be half my size. Like right. that's, that, that, that's, just, it doesn't look right. It's not natural. It's not going to be healthy. And then you got a lot of people who are suffering health complications because of it. So y'all are doing all of this. Why? It comes down to the bag. Because you want some dude to, to, you know, give attention to you that wouldn't otherwise give you the time of day. Or in my field of entertainment, you know, being an exotic dancer and adult entertainer, you know, there's a lot of women out here that are making money because they got ass. And now all of a sudden, everybody wants a BBL. All sizes now. Okay. All size women want this BBL. Before it was breast implants. 
Everybody wanted, you know, these big titties if they ain't have them. Now they want them and they want the ass. But the BBL and the 360 lipo and all this stuff, they got down payments on this shit now. Yeah, I just we, saw an advertisement yeah. the other day where they was like, you want the mommy makeover for like $35 a week. 360 lipo for $30 a week. BBL for $25 a week. I'm like... They call they 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 selling this shit like cars, you know, this. like on uh, finance plans and shit. But pe- it's too many people putting such a stigma on having the body that at once wasn't even valued or appreciated like mine, and now they risking their lives to do it because y'all feel like it's gonna get y'all more money in the club. You feel like it's gonna get niggas to spend more money with you it, selling pussy. It let's is, keep it a hundred, and yeah. y'all think it's gonna get y'all more money yeah. from a nigga that are gonna give it you is. time. And not necessarily. But for the most part, it is. But let me ask you this, though. I'm going to ask you a real motherfucking question right now. Where you dance at? Well, since I relocated, I haven't really officially started dancing anywhere. But those of you out there yeah, watching, if there's someone that you want, if Quit there's somewhere you cop, want me Lito, on the you stage, run or something. Let, let, me, let the people know where no, you at. No, I could call out all the places I have you danced. Cause shit, you just run. Hey, just let people know. They, hey, they'll pull up. You want the bag? I could call out all the places that I danced at when I was living in Tampa Bay, Florida. Like, I could name them <laughs> off on my fingers. But since no, I relocated yeah. here, I haven't really been dancing. Oh, okay. That's really? what I'm saying. What, I'm what looking that for what really that means is outside of, like, private gigs outside of mm. private parties or private oh, okay. private okay. Okay. events like I haven't had no official that was a legitimate answer I haven't had no official gentleman's club that I have started so working at if I did I'd be happy to tell y'all a hundred percent not anywhere here the okay. closest I have gotten and this was right before I relocated back up here the closest that I have gotten was Charleston Santee, South Carolina. And that's hey, three Charles, hours away. We coming for y'all, too. We finna check in down there. Shout out, Charles. Shout out, so, Charles. For we real. Coming. So, like, uh, there's a club down there called uh, Pure Gold in Santee. Uh, shout out to Slim Bubba because he's the one who had been steady trying to get me um, to come down there since he met me while I was a full-time entertainer in Atlanta. And um, I did show him some love, came through, made money, sent him some videos to show support, you know, and... That was that was everything he got. He actually got an event coming up next weekend. So technically, if y'all start following my page, y'all can keep up with whenever I go to Charleston or the Santee area. You know, it's three hours away, so I'm not there all the right. time. Let, let me let me, yeah. ask, let me interject and let me ask this right here: With you being a uh, exotic dancer and all, and with the economy being in the way it is right now, like you know we we you know we we tiptoeing around the recession. What is it like? In the strip club right now, with you know, what I'm saying is is niggas still you know what I'm saying or it's they just throwing or you they see throwing or you see are you what you seeing in there right now? So right before I left Tampa, there um you know we saw a decline. You know, obviously there's certain places that you can go where girls will still make bread, but honestly, a lot of those places discriminate. They won't let women like me dance, plus size dancers, um, entertain there. Um, but outside of those places that are picky or strategic about their image, um, with respect to the other places, the more hood type places, the more laid back or more mixed crowd type places, um, they did start to see, you know, a bit of a decline after the holidays. And I thought that it would have picked back up once taxes hit. But even up here, <laughs> even up here, even up here, like even in the car business, they'd be like, man, the car business don't even get a tax season rush. Like normally, you know, people would get taxes and go out, right. buy cars or put payments on the cars. They like it's been slow this year. Like we ain't seen no real rush so of anybody been. spending their money, you know, this tax season. So it's been slower. Do, do you got to own? Um, let me ask you this. Did you tap in the OnlyFans or anything like that? It's something I have contemplated. I had not done it, but to keep it a hundred with y'all. I'll give you a thousand dollars. Yeah, now see if Boosie ever hit me up. Shout out to Boosie because I look forward to working with you in the music industry. If he would have ever hit me up and offer me some money to show him something, I definitely would have did it. Okay. No, no, you, you said put him on live. Live for a thousand dollars. Put your pussy lips on live. I'll give you a thousand dollars. 
I mean, you got to get me in that in that moment and see nah. how I respond. Put your pussy lips on live. I give you a thousand. <laughs> hint, hint. Boots ain't been to play with you. <laughs> no, you know I, mean? I know he ain't. I know he ain't. But really and truly, I mean, I have had some people to um cash at me, you know, to to go like on video chat with, with them and show them some things. On live for Boots. Put your pussy lips on live. I give you a thousand dollars. Not for a thousand. Not for a thousand. Not for a thousand. Because think about it. He didn't say, like, like get on video chat with me and show me. He said on live. How many other motherfuckers going to see that? They get on live and they're not paying shit take, to see the pussy. How, how much will it take? You ain't doing it for a thousand. How much will you take? Fifteen hundred. Wow, I might as well take a thousand if I'm gonna say fifteen hundred. Yeah, right, we want this exclusive role. Like, hey, it's, it's niggas listening now. <laughs> Put your pussy lips on live. I get fifteen hundred. No. <laughs> no. If I got if I if I gotta bless everybody else watching on watching the live to see my pussy lips and they ain't paying shit to see it, they just hopping on right then and there. That it's gonna be like five stacks. Boy, Duke Powell gonna say that, but you should have did it. Boy, Duke Powell. Good thing I don't pay. Good did. thing I don't pay a Duke we Powell. Tired of, we tired of these payments. Mm-mm. Let's do it. Good thing I don't I don't pay on no cars or no light bills. <laughs> Retire you putting something on it. Yeah, Retire you putting something on it. Well, you were Let's talking about it. something earlier. You want to talk about a current event? Go ahead and jump into that. Tell yeah, because they just they just they just want to know all my personal information. But I do want to say one more thing about Charleston. So down there, there is a club called Generation X, Gen X, in Charleston. The daytime and the nighttime manager, head of security, they all cool as fuck. They did hire me um, when I went in person um, to meet with them, got my information, my flyers and all of that, and told me whenever I could get on schedule with them that I could come and work whenever I wanted. So my plan is within the next few weeks to set it up to where I have a schedule to where I will go to Charleston and work a couple of different clubs. My first trip to Charleston Make sure you pumping us down there. is going to be... Huh? Make sure you pumping us down there. I mean, shoot, I want some. I, I would like to have people ride with me. I need a driver, okay? <laughs> this the attention, attention. I need a driver. I need somebody to drive me down there and hey. chauffeur me around and drive me back. And what, you get to experience all the VIP access and all that's the behind good. the scenes. Hold on, what? You, I might take that. What you paying? I'll oh, see. Now that's when you go on my DMs and you inquire within. You dig? No, cause we, we yeah. everybody listening. Somebody yeah, I don't know. There. there might be somebody out there who just want to do ho, it. Oh, this girl right here just asked you what you paying. <laughs> I mean, Look no like, let <laughs> me ask you. Uh, You'll be what? My sweeper. Okay. She just. Yeah. I like that. And Keeping an eye on the lady, money. I want to drive you, and she want to sweep for you. So, how but I, I would prefer to pay if I got to pay someone. I would prefer to pay someone that can also do my makeup and or hair. So you want them to drive, do makeup, and hair? I said if I'm paying someone, I want to pay someone to, like, be my overall traveling assistant so they could help me with the things that baby, I can't I want, want, Baby, I, I want to be your sense, driver. Right? I want to right. be your driver. What you paying me? I ain't got no free time either. You don't, do but somebody out there, some dude out there that, that just loves me and wants to support my movement might just be like, girl, Show I'll take you. you want it done. Girl, I'll hey. take you. You hey, want them done free. I mean, let's keep it a hundred. In business, if you have the ability to barter or you have the ability to build a relationship with someone who supports your movement and it's a reciprocated energy that doesn't necessarily involve the transfer of money, in business, you're going to go with that first because that makes the most sense. Maybe in town, but and then I got to go to If you have to spend them coins, then you will, but you're, you're going to want to get as much as you can out of the services you're paying for. That's just business so what you one on one. VIP service and stuff like that. What you bartering? VIP I mean, for one, services? I would be paying their way into the club. So, like, let me give you an example. Man, let me tell you right now, I can't do it for free. Baby. Okay, that's you. But look, <laughs> there might be some guy out there that loves going to the strip clubs. Maybe somebody who don't have nothing else better to do. Maybe somebody who may not even have their own transportation, Good but they luck. got a valid driver's license and they got extra time on their hands. Huh? Right. You see what I'm saying? Right Some people would otherwise not be going anywhere, doing anything fun, seeing anything new, meeting any new people. You know, it's an experience. You know what I'm saying? And then, 
you know, when the time comes, not if, for me to blow up, that's going to be that right-hand person I do put on payroll. That's going to be the first person I make sure get paid. So, basically, <laughs> you're not paying nothing. No, because that's not what see, I'm saying. See, what you looking for, you, you looking, looking for, for who? A fool. For the same person no. Glow really was looking for to pay five fifty to be her sister, somebody who re- really ain't got shit going on. But I can't miss out on this money I got here to go and make no money. He driving you around. I broke his head out of this choice in your ass. Ain't no, that's different. That, that's why I said it's it's a case he by case. My face and shit. No, like no, 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 no. See. I don't, I don't give a fuck if you ain't doing nothing but helping me move furniture in the house. I'm going to make sure everybody eat, even if I am paying. And I got people that can attest to that. I'm going to make sure everybody eat, make sure that they hydrated, make sure they good. If I got liquor, I'm going to offer it. Yeah, that's a hundred. Even for someone who offered to do it for free, I would still be making sure they straight. I'm going to pay your way in. I'm going to buy you drinks. I'm, when I eat, you eat. You know, if I have a really good night, I'm still going to throw you some money because God bless me. I'm going to give it back. And we gonna still turn up and have a good time. Okay, I got you. We, we, oh, go ahead, go go, go to your, your topic. Go ahead. They got you in Charleston, G N X. <laughs> oh, but real quick, next Saturday, May thirteenth, Slim Bubba is having an event. You can follow him at Slim S L I M underscore Bubba B U B B A. He just released a new song called Throw It Back. He Slim real Bobby country, real one. cool. He real country, real cool, but he know how to turn up, and he show love to his dancers. Like, he's a promoter, but he'll throw money. He'll make sure that we get taken care of. He'll make, if anything go wrong, Ooh. he make it right. So oh, he's God. celebrating an event in Charleston next Saturday that he really wanted me to come out for. And so it's being advertised on his page. I'm going to start advertising it on mine next, um, this coming week. And so, you know, that'll be my first official return to Charleston. So definitely come see me. Okay, there. shout out Slim come, Bubble. She coming back, Charles. You coming back, Chuck Town. <laughs> Amen Go to ahead, that. Jump into that. Yeah, shout Amen out Slim Bubble. Like, let's get to it. So, hot topic of the day. And I'm going to say it in Spanish first. Comiendo culo. We eating ass today. So. <laughs> <laughs> And I say we collectively. Uh, you say we, you <laughs> but, but go ahead. Rhetorically speaking, <laughs> I was on Facebook earlier today, today and one of my fellow former Tampa Bay, St. Petersburg dancers, she had a um, story posted on her Facebook and it was a meme and it had Dave Chappelle in a movie scene. He had a bunch of young people around him and you know it was like one of them techno type vibe type of clubs and you know you could tell he was lost and out of place he stood two feet taller than everybody else in the club you know and he was just looking around looking crazy trying to dance and trying to get the flow of things and out of nowhere and so then across across the the meme it says when you realize that you too old for a young person's club And you think that they just talking about what I just said, like, you know, he just can't get with it. And then out of nowhere, this new song play. That was what the meme was about. And the girl come over the speaker and she talking about, yeah, that nigga ate my ass. But then we switch. Now I'm eating a nigga ass. Yeah, I ate a nigga ass. Yeah, I ate a nigga ass. And that's who it was. I'm not surprised, girl. She out there. She Sukiana, out there like Star let me, Wars. Let me, let me she out there. Right quick to say this. I think Sukiana got that good pussy. <laughs> Continue. Okay, Suki with the good coochie. Oh, yeah, she said it. That's she? what she says. Yeah, I believe you. I believe so, you. I didn't know whose song that was. That was my first time hearing it, but it had me like... Damn, he looking around like this is what they playing in the club now. But I was blown by the lyrics. I'm like, damn, they talking about eating a nigga ass now. So fast forward. Oh, now, fast give forward. Us your eating a nigga ass story. <laughs> we don't have one before on here now, right? So, so look, we're not foreign to it. It might be TMI, but y'all will be all right. All women got a cycle, and I'm premenstrual right now. So whenever I'm like two or three days before my cycle. I get a little bloated, so I have a little pudge, a little extra water retention or whatever. But with that said, I also get extremely horny. And so it's like where it's like, okay, if if I'm not fucking, which I'm not currently, 
then I have to satisfy my means uh, by any means, but satisfy my needs by whatever means necessary. You said cut. Cap. 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 No, I'm not cap. Look, if I was, I would just be telling y'all. But anyway, as transparent as I am, I'm going to keep it a hundred. Okay. So with that said, I'm already built up, backed up, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so when I'm when I'm about to get my cycle, I get extremely horny. So if I had to, I'm going to use my magic wand. That's my sex toy of choice. So I automatically go on Pornhub. And it just automatically came up with a list of random recommended shit to watch. So I click on one. Oh, it got an algorithm. <laughs> Yeah. I click on oh, one. Got an I click on one, and um, I'm going through it like each scene, and you know I'm skipping, you know, sliding that little bar over just to see, you know, what all's happening in the video. Because sometimes they be capping in them captions, you know, they just want to get the views. Even if you watch it for two seconds, they still got credit for that view. So sometimes they'll say something, but the shit never actually happens in the video. So I'm skipping through just to see what's up, and I get to a part. Where her face looked like she was eating pussy. You know, it was up close. So I'm like, damn, when did a girl come into the damn video? You know what I'm saying? All I see is some legs spread, some hair, her hand up here on what I thought might have been a stomach. And her face was all in it. I'm like, I missed something. So I go back like two, three minutes. And I watch it up until that point. And she was sucking a nigga dick. And he was like, suck on my balls. So she lifted his dick up and started sucking on his balls. And what I thought was the stomach was the balls pushed up against his dick. <laughs> Cause had, yeah, was the balls pushed up against his dick. And the way he had the angle, that's all you saw was the little edge of the balls. And her face was in this nigga ass. And he was literally like, he was doing it like a bitch. He was literally like with his hand on her head, like pushing her face into his asshole. I said, this just looks so gay to me. Like this nigga literally had her doing a whole toss salad. I was, I was blown because I ain't never look. And all the time that I have watched porn, even like the sloppy compilations where they, um, you know, be giving sloppy head and all that. I have. Yes. Now, hold on. I have never seen a video where they had a whole scene of a girl eating a nigga ass. Now, I've seen them every now and then stick their tongue in there or whatever with a couple of them. But this man had her down there eating that shit like she was eating pussy. She literally was sucking the hell out that man's ass. And for me to have just an hour prior saw a video about the meme with the girl eating the ass on the speaker. And then the next thing I see is a girl eating ass in a whole scene. Like, the nigga got a pussy. I was just blown by that. I was like, damn, since when did we really start why, doing this? Why? Uh, let me ask you. You said you already had your ass eight before. I you love have, it. You I love such it. such a big ass. Like, I love how? my ass eight. That's actually foreplay for me. <laughs> if I if I bend over, the first thing, I, if I get on a bed and I bend over, the first oh, you thing I... Over. If I get on the bed and I bend over, the first thing I want somebody to do is spread yeah, all... Yeah, how, you know, it started at 56 inches when I was 17. You know, anywhere between 56 to 62 inches. I wanted and want somebody to spread all them inches. So you stand and you dive stand, in that motherfucker and tongue fuck my ass. Italian. And that's foreplay for me. Let me. So you standing up and bent over like no, a, I'm talking like, about, like a nigga hiking a ball. No, I'm talking about. Well, I mean, I could. I could just bend over a bed with my legs straight and have somebody squat down and lift it up and do it. Can, can or I could be in the doggy style position and have somebody do it. Look, I've been getting my ass ate since I Did was you 15. Wash your ass today? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, as a big girl with a lot of ass, I am so thorough with washing it. If I can't stick my fingers in my asshole and pull them out, and it smell and taste good. If 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 it's not taste, passing yeah, the smell and the taste test, if it's not passing the smell and the taste test <laughs> on my standards, how the hell can I or any of y'all out there who ain't properly washed think a nigga or a female gonna stick their tongue or anything for that matter in your ass? You can't so you, expect that. So you sticking the rag in your asshole? You I use my fingers. Okay. I test it out with my finger. I wash. You know that whole. I have to splash it with water. I wash that whole area. I bend it over. Spread my cheeks. Let the water go into the hole if i got an attachment which i really like then i, I put yeah. that all up in there and then i you know 
I'm testing it. And there's not anybody out there I've ever dealt with, man or woman, that can ever say I failed the hygiene test. Nobody yeah, could ever say that about me. Like nah. New York. <laughs> nah. I have really, naturally, I have really good hygiene. Like, I'm not the type. Like, I was at the gym three hours earlier today working out. Even though I sweat, even though I get hot or whatever, I never have a odor. There's some women who naturally have a real strong odor, mm -hmm. or if they get hot, they get musty, and you can right. smell them when they walk by. Or even some of the girls at the club, and y'all know who y'all is. Y'all be the ones that people be talking they about, know, or the know. house moms be talking about, like, yeah, y'all ain't wash up good enough, or y'all need to make sure y'all check yourselves throughout the night, because them the ones that be secreting whatever the hell fucked up shit they eating and drinking, when they sweat, it come out their pores, and they get to dancing, and they don't smell fresh, and it ain't attractive. But I'm that type of person that throughout the night, or day, Dancing, fucking, working out, or just working. I ain't never had that so, hygiene issue. So, yeah, so, so, so let me you, ask you this. Let me tell you something. Baby, you a whole run on sentence. I'm telling you, you like a. Miss one K. take. I don't hesitate. Yeah, I'm going to put a period on, on this you thing. Gotta, I'm yeah, gonna you got to put, put a, a period in there somewhere, I'm, baby. I'm going to put a period <laughs> on this thing. Yeah, because so you going to end, and it's been a lot of filler and a lot of stuff you didn't get to because it was saying. Stuff that but go ahead. wasn't really. But no, no, let me let me yeah, ask yeah, you this yeah. though. So, so, so you telling me you could be on uh, been working in the plant all day, all day, and then come home, been that ass, been that ass. So ain't nothing gonna whiff, hit him, nothing. We gonna get nope. no type of whiff, nope. right? Nope. You a goddamn lie. Ain't no, no. shout out Corey Hogan. Corey Hogan said I mean, it ain't gonna it smell though. like roses, hey, but I, ha I won't have no smell. I won't smell have too. no odor. <laughs> you said what? Shout out Corey Hogan. Corey Hogan said that bitch been working that pussy supposed to have smell to it. No, because I use the bathroom. I use the bathroom like three. Let me tell you this. They say some niggas that like that. That is. They like all day on it. Over. That's true. I'm not. One of them, yeah. 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 but but they say they rather. I, I mean, heard a nigga got mad when the bitch came home, and took a shower. Right, right. I, I, I had I a dude pay me really. I had a dude pay me stupid money for some dirty underwear, and they wasn't even dirty. Like I couldn't get them the dirty way he wanted them. Yeah, like yeah, to the point know, where, to the, <laughs> the fuck because, because I didn't, because I didn't have the musty hygiene, he'd be like, wear them all day and don't take them all till tomorrow and bring them to me. And even with me creaming on them, I bring it to me. He'd be like, these ain't dirty enough. And I'm like, what you want me to do? What I just, what, what, I don't have no odor. What like, you what mean? you want? Hey, hey, what you mean you creaming on? What you mean? You know, like if I, you know, okay. So when I get backed up and I'm not having sex. Regularly, like which now. is often, yes. I will cream yeah. on my underwear. When I take them off, there will be like a line of, you know. Nah, but that's UTI. That no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> UTI. <laughs> no, it's not. Baby, you got a little they ain't even, they ain't no. See, that ain't even the right symptoms there. of a UTI. That's how much you know. <laughs> no, hey, like, absolutely not. not. Right. But, nah, absolutely I'm not. Yeah, a little discharge. Y'all crazy. Y'all can look it up, okay? Because there are some porn stars who can squirt, and there's some that can cream, and there's some that do both when they're sexually what aroused. I squirt, and I only cream when I'm backed up and yeah, haven't had it in a while. Squirt. You squirt. So do, let me ask you this. Do you squirt for every nigga, or is just certain niggas that can make you squirt? Well, you know it was just women for a very, very long time, if you remember the I last episode. it's still just women, really. I, I listen to how you talk, and I say this. I say this is a a lesbian that enjoys male attention. <laughs> That's what I gather oh, from you. Okay. I see that. That's what you I know what? From you. When I was a lesbian that didn't enjoy the attention, I got it anyway. So at some point, as a Leo lioness that stays in the spotlight or is the elephant in the room, I had to just accept that shit. Like you got niggas damn near crashing at the red lights, breaking their heads, look at you when they drive in, motherfuckers following you and shit when you walk in and stuff. And I could just get out the bed and go somewhere, and they still trying to holler. I just had to accept that I was gonna get that kind of. A attention so instead of rejecting people and tell them you know i'm gay right they'd be like nah you just saying that because you just i ain't just ain't your type that's what they would think and i'd be telling them the truth and then after a while you know then some people you reject sometimes they get offended and like defensive about it and these days people are so crazy i felt like if i kept that new york mentality and like just shut them down real hard or just you know just didn't 
you know, embrace it. They might pull out a gun or a knife like, bitch, what? You know, like, you know, or, oh, so you look good, but you got that stink ass attitude. I'm going to show you like you never know. Like people out here killing people for crazy reasons. So I decided I'm not even going to be that person to just, you know, shut people down and reject them real hard. Because some people get humiliated by that, especially if it's in public or they're around their people. So I was just like, you know what? Nah, I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to accept it as love or attention, even if it's not attention I was looking for or attention that I wanted and just... Accept it for what it is. I'm gonna get it regardless. So why not enjoy it? The guy you even don't enjoy dicks though. So and that's you? what they would say. They'd be like, "Ain't no way God gave you all that ass and you ain't getting fucked by no nigga. Ain't no way you ain't taking dick." Even when I wasn't taking dick, they'd be like, "How you got all that ass? But all you doing is getting your pussy ate. All you doing is eating pussy. Ain't no way." So since y'all kept saying that, even when it was true, I'm just like, I'm just gonna. I'm just going to embrace the attention because men are going to give it to me whether I want it or not, whether I want them or not. So it just is what yeah, it is. Yeah, I feel you. Um, I wanted to jump in the hell, one of the hell topics. He had some, yeah, like an well, uh, topic I wanted to speak on. Well, y'all didn't ever say if y'all liked y'all asses eight. Oh, y'all no, want to know if no, I like mine no. eight. N-O. <laughs> no. No, I ain't really into that. But 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 to me though, I don't know why it's crazy for a man to eat ass. Cause everybody ass is the same. Everybody ass got the same function. So whether it be a man or a woman eating an ass, a ass is everybody ass is the same. I dig Meaning it's the exit, different. is what you're saying? Huh? You mean it's the exit on it's everybody? Exit. Is that what you mean? <laughs> so it don't matter who eating ass, whether it's a woman, man, whatever. Everybody ass do the same job. But not yeah. everybody ass smell or look like it or taste like it. But do the same everybody job. can clean their ass or not clean it. They still <laughs> an ass at the end of the day. Right. But anyway. Do y'all eat ass? No. Clearly not from what you just said. But no. you. No? no. <laughs> Have y'all she ever tried it? Him out. Have y'all no, ever tried never it? even tried it. She can point out all she want. What'd you say? <laughs> look, 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 she said, <laughs> the camera lady, hey, look, we got, we got a Boy, phone shoot set up so after what She pointed yeah. and all that. Nah. Well, I have, I have. She I can count on one hand camera. how many times I ate ass, but it was a select few females. And guess what? Females. But guess oh, you had a female though? ass. I, guess what, I said specifically females. That female ass do the same thing that male ass do. That's what I'm saying. You act like that means something because you saying a female <laughs> ass. It does yeah, to like me because they ain't have no hair yeah, and <laughs> they go out they way to they go out they way to take care hey, of themselves Lord. a little hey, bit Lord, better. What than. Chris ain't tell you about these girls eat ass? Would he be glad? Yeah, he can't wait for y'all to start getting. Sick. <laughs> Man. Okay, but if, if we go in there, it's like y'all might as well not eat pussy because if y'all tongue fucking a girl vagina, that shit is literally an inch and a half away from the asshole. You know, you got no, it's, no, not not really. fu- it's not that it's not that really. big no, of a difference. No, no, it ain't. The fluids can Listen. cross over, is what I'm saying. There could be some cross contamination there very easily. Well, let them cross over. <laughs> if you eating pussy, really, if you eating the right way, you really supposed to be at the top. You know what I'm saying? Up there. A, you know what I'm saying? With a clitoris. You know, up there. Well, that's that's that. If you down he there, said all it all like, he said like the blow. Clintons in New York in the fucking vaginas down here in South Carolina. No, 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 They're not I'm that saying, far that apart, apart bro. Yeah, 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 you away from You away from that ass. But if you yeah, all down there yeah. in that. For a long yeah. pussy five yeah, you, just, <laughs> you down there wasting time. Yeah. See, I knew I see. I had to get some feedback out of y'all on the comiendo culo because yeah. y'all did not speak on it enough for me, and I needed I needed to get y'all to speak on that for real, for real. Had to, but I'm sorry okay, that y'all feel that way. Thing. For those of you that do eat ass, you do qualify to put in an application with me. Okay, so let, let them see what they eat. <laughs> you are you are exotic dancer though. You are exotic. Dancer. Let, yeah, let them see. Give, give a walk. Let them see what they're dancing. Let them see. Look, look, that's that's, look at her. that's your money. Look, look at these are the cheeks though. Yeah, look, let them see. What, that's was, cheeks, God, what was God thinking when he made you so damn thick, so damn scrummed to the way? Why I'm thinking that ass got little red pimples all over it? That's for you. Went it da- she went down. Show you. She went down. Show you. What was God thinking? Hey, we went down. You you exotic? That's a nice shit. Right here. Hey. Hey, 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 y'all, that ass got red pimples all over it. Right here. Hey. Come here, I want you to feel it. Give, give them your 
Yeah. With puss cut. Look, look, bro. Bro. She said she talking bro, to the girl. Don't stand right there. Bro. She talking to the girl. Girl, girl, girl. you driver. Hey, go ahead, driver. Driver. Ain't gonna never eat no dick. Yeah, you scared to grab. She talking ass. about you. Touch it. Shut up. See. Okay. Is it? Is it? Is it? It's what? It's straight. Let him touch yours, man. <laughs> but, hey, go out. It's what? Hot. I've been oh. sweating. What was, God, what was God thinking when he made you so damn thick? That's what they're going to be eating. I'm scrubbing to the lamp. <laughs> that's, huh? that's buffet. That goes to grass. Exactly. They ain't never going to get hungry. You wouldn't. My ass get hungry, though. We wouldn't. Oh, you like anal, too? No, what I'm saying. We I'm couldn't see the pimple. Uh, my ass be eating. Do you got booty. pimples on the booty? My ass be underwear and booty shorts and boxes. She got puss you bumps wouldn't. all over that motherfucker. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> I got what? <laughs> what? I didn't hear what he say. I said she got puss bumps all over. Show him. Make me a fucking liar. Make me a fucking liar. Show him. Make me a fucking liar. Make me a fucking liar. I ain't going to show them. I ain't going to show them. I ain't going to show them. Oh, he's going to show you. Show up. Yeah, see? Why you ain't showing them? Why? I know. They painted on it. That ass smooth. That ass is smooth, Yeah, it did look kind of smooth. I can't go <laughs> Did you wash your that's ass smooth. today? <laughs> nah, that's smooth ass, though. Y'all, oh, y'all the bottom of the bump set. You stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that's... <laughs> That's what I'll get you okay. to see. That's the first. Let's talk a talk first, ain't it? What? Uh, motherfucker pulled the pants down. No. Nah, P. Nah, oh, P. shout P. out. Yeah, shout P. out. P. 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 They got Shit, they got you can give them leave what you gave me. <laughs> you can give what you gave me. You know what I'm saying? That's that, that's what has to happen. That's what happened. Happened like, hey, hey, look, you might have some motherfucker riding down well, to Charleston. The, we could be on the next. We got. I think the bar part. I think the bar part of that ass needs some noxine. And this is the <laughs> right here, so. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Let me see. Bend, right. bend, bend, bend it over yeah. one yeah. more time for. Oh, okay. You okay. Huh? okay. What's your okay. What's your favorite song you like to dance to? What you dancing to right now? Uh huh. Like thunder. I've had the DJs at the club stop the music. <laughs> what? Motherfuckers swore to God. Thunder. What you? Hey. Show. Show. Hey, Italian Monet. Yes. What you dance to? It's one o'clock. The power hour. What you dancing I'm to so right glad now? As you asked. It's one o'clock. What you dancing to? She got a little bit of stomach, but yeah, that's, that's okay. okay. She gonna let a real nigga, nigga eat it. You appreciate a woman with a whole lot of cake. <laughs> Baby, that's a whole lot of shape. Yeah, you know what's up. Shout out to Moonwalk out of Dade County. That's Miami, Florida. That song called Lizzo, ain't it? Lizzo. Lizzo. Park like Lizzo I thought, I when I dance to the music. Hey, yeah, yo, the DJs, ass, look. So every cake. club, I go into the first time, I introduce myself. Baby, I exchange information. Breath. I'm good. I'm, I'm just hype. Just thinking about the song and me on stage had me turn. I just did a whole dance Can we? on the studio stage at the gym earlier today to Lizzo. So it had me kind of hype that y'all said that. But the DJs would literally get my info. I'd be like, all right, now there's two songs you got to play every time I go on stage and do a set. Lizzo, either the original or the one featuring Kevin Gates, which was Fire, or Rodeo, which is a remix of... The pony song by Genuine. Forgive me, Genuine's Pony. Have y'all heard that? I ain't heard it. Ooh, the old that's song? the underground. The old song, Genuine. Not, 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 not the original. Not the original pony. Although I was listening to that before I was old enough to do anything. So I was, I was listening and singing along to sitting here flossing, peeping on Stilo. Just once, if I had the chance, the things I would do to you, you and your body, every single portion. Since chills up and down my spine, juice is flowing down my thighs. If you're horny, let's do it. Ride, Ride it, my, my pony. pony, my saddles waiting, Wait. coming, jump on it. If you're horny, let's do it. 
riding my pony. My saddle's waiting. Come and jump on it if you wanna get nasty, baby. First, we're we'll show and tell. Till <laughs> I reach your ponytail. I swear to God. Lurk all over and through That's your great. baby. So Until so we reach the stream, you'll be on my jockey team. Oh, oh, oh. If you're horny, let's do it. Ride it, my pony, my saddles, waited, come and jump on it. Do it, my pony, my saddles, waited, come and jump on it. Okay, hey, that was DJ, great. Hey, oh, was shout great. out to Genuine. I had to bring that oldie but goodie back. 90s baby stands up. 90s baby stand up. Italian Monique, that was great. That was a great segue because we done came to the end. Yep. Um, tell them where to follow you at, where to hear you at, where to. I know you. Tell them again about you going to Charleston this week, but give them everything they need to get in touch with you. That the song you want to say? It just was a good. It was a good. It was, it was a good one for me to use. It was natural, right? 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 To do it that way. To do it that. Right. Way, do do right. It that, just right we just it. yeah. And then y'all wanted it acapella, raw, unfiltered, right, right, with no background right. music. Right. Anyway, y'all wanted to hear what it really goes. And like y'all ain't never it. heard a female sing that song because when you think Pony, you only think Genuine because he was the only one to do it. So with that said. Rodeo, Real just talk. speaking on Jenny that. Was a Rodeo is the only up. song that I have heard where they actually remixed Pony, and he did a really good job. Shout out to Lapat. If y'all want to search it on YouTube, it's Rodeo R O D E O, and then it's Lapat L A H P A T, and he's an underground artist, so it's not no mainstream. That's why a lot of people, such as yourselves, don't know about it. And never heard it. My personal trainer had never heard it until I played it earlier. Next thing you know, I'm in the mirror recording him dancing to it. He was like, "Oh, I'm gonna have to download that." He all on my phone trying to see. The name so he could look it up. It's fire. It's fire. And he did a couple of features with people, but the one featuring Big Jade, who's actually this little petite girl from the south, that um that one was fire. So Man, when the DJs, Jade, see yeah, where they from? They from um. Don't call me on this. I want to say it's Florida, and I want to say Jade's from Miami. But I just know that was where I heard it. Like Lizzo. It was a DJ that played that song for me while I was dancing. They play them. They play that made me realize that, you know, that that song was fast. I started listening to the lyrics. I was like, wait, did he write this for me? And then with the rodeo, you know, you know, like I said, Moonwalker being out of Dade County. With the rodeo, I think that those artists are from the South Florida area. And that's why it was an underground song that's been rotating around the clubs in Tampa Bay. So... Hey, ever since I heard it, I fuck with it. I be dropping in the splits with that song. I be riding it, imagining Nary. I be riding some What's imaginary the shit on the stage time? when I'm What's in the name that. Song? Rodeo. By who? La Pat. L A H P A T. Featuring Big Jade is my favorite remix. Okay. If you don't know, now you know. Those are my two go-to songs. So if you ever catch me in the club and I do a set, you are gonna see me dance to at least one of them because every DJ gonna have that oh, on their list. Know. Amen to that. So y'all okay. can follow me. Yeah. I have a Facebook page. Careful and lady got an ass too, though. So. Who? The careful, the careful guy. Mama got an ass too. Yeah, <laughs> mama got an ass too. <laughs> Um, I have a Facebook page. Um, you guys can actually just Google me. You can Google Italia Monet. It'll come up with all my platforms. I'm actually seeking a content creator and a content manager. So if anyone knows how to do that kind of work, is tech savvy, knows how to use and is familiar with the filters, the algorithms, and or the um, different effects you can use on TikTok, Twitter, IG slash Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Those are the five platforms that I'm trying to revamp and reconstruct um, for Italia Monet, the brand. And so I definitely need some assistance with that. Um, but for now, you can find a lot of content on my um, Facebook slash forward slash facebook.com forward slash Italia Monet, or you can go to pages and search my name. Um, you can go on IG and 
at me, Italia.Monet, and send a request to follow. Um, but as far as me shaking that ass, that's exclusive. I never post it on IG. Hit them for private parties. So you guys. private parties, private What's events. What's private party start at? I'm just. Oh my goodness. What you mean? You it want, depends on the number of people. I'm trying to take you to what kind of business y'all doing. You need to learn how to promote your brand better, babe. You want to be secret. No, I price. want people to hit me up. Think about this, okay? Dang, I'll give you a starting you price, it, but in business, you always want to get people to reach out so that you know how many people are interested and genuinely want to book you. And then you'll get an idea of who, you know, how many people you actually engage with or how many people want to fuck with you. And then from there, you know whether or not your price is too high, too low, what you got to do, you know, to work with it or whatever. But with private parties, I base it on three things. I base it on the amount of time or number of hours I'm needed. I base it on the location. Um, how far away I have to commute to or whether or not they're providing transportation. And then the other thing is how many individuals I'm entertaining. You know, whether it's well, just a few Julius people. Party. <laughs> 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 oh. okay. I, I should have known he was going to go there with the Players Club. Y'all Shout got, out to the Players Club down there in Tampa, Florida, okay, though. Y'all, y'all got to information. Hit up, man. Y'all, y'all got anything to say? I ain't get, got nothing, man. Hey, 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 hold on. Hold on. I want to say this. Hey, look. You're a good sport, man. We've been for. Hey, hey, look, I think some people be kind of intimidated to come on the show because they think we're going. Great. She did a wonderful job. Yeah. Right, 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 right. You actually did. You know what I'm saying? You it. I understand this. D just jokes. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We just fucking with her. Uh, <laughs> you know, she taking it pretty well. I appreciate um, that. I, absolutely. Out, um, I want to drive for her, yo. <laughs> But I can't do it for free. Oh, dilemma. The cash out. Send, send the money to the cash out for, for a drive her fund or something. All three <laughs> of us will take turns driving. And they can right. get footage for y'all we don't do the, at the clubs. Right. The cash Road out. trip. Yeah, you, you, you done, huh? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. No, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Listen oh, very oh, carefully. Oh. Okay, yeah. The cash out is Talk is Talk <laughs> podcast. And y'all already know if y'all want to hear speak on anything, talk us talk one sixty five at Gmail. Talk us talk podcast on IG. Talk us talk one on Twitter. Talk us talk on Facebook. Hey, and you already know, subscribe to the YouTube Talk us talk podcast eight six four. And anywhere you listen to audio, and ring that notification bell. Right. Ding 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 ding. Facts. <laughs> like three strikes. <sighs> Amen to that. Madden. Talk is talk. Talk is cheap. I talk is talk because I walk the walk when I run the streets. I pay my dues. Two OG. Say what you say. Never to my face. Nigga, you know me. You know me. Talk is talk. Talk is cheap. I talk talk because I walk the walk when I run the streets. I pay my dues. True OG. Say what you say. Never to my face. Nigga, you know me. You know me. You know me. You know me.